Hello everyone, Sheo here, and welcome for a new series of tutorials for Behavior Designer. This first video will be about behavior tree references, or as I like to call them, subtrees. So behavior tree references are here to solve that. So, what exactly is it that we are seeing here? This is my old enemy AI from my uh, current game Popoli. Look at how ugly it is, and most of all, look at how big it is. It's unreadable. Seriously, I'm getting a headache just by looking at it. So, in this video, we're going to see how to change all of that into this. Now, I'm exaggerating because this, this is a work in progress, but nonetheless, I'm going to show you how to use this behavior tree reference node um, to split um, an entire complex tree uh, into a main tree with uh, sub parts here. Uh, and by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to, uh, to work on a complex enemy AI without going insane. So, let's get started. Here is a very simple scene here with an Atlas agent uh, and a nav mesh. What we're going to do here is create um, one main tree and two sub trees. Uh, one of these subtrees will contain a long sequence of events, and the other uh, will be a simple patrol. And we're also going to see how to uh, transfer values from the main tree to the sub ones. Alright, so um, uh, find yourself a folder for your external trees, then go to Create, Behavior Designer, and External Behavior Tree. We'll name it uh, Main Tree. Let's make another one. Let's name it uh, Patrol. And lastly, uh, we'll name this uh, Long Sequence. Um, we're going to start with the simpler, the Patrol. All right, let's start with a sequence. And we're going to select. Um, sorry, we're going to start by checking whether um, a um, a patrol is allowed. So we're going to use compare shared bool like that, and then put a patrol like this. Uh, so we'll have to create some variables here. So we're going to create one for the uh, patrol order, like this. And then uh, we'll need um, some waypoints. As you write these names, keep in mind that you will have to use the exact same names on the main tree. And these names will be case sensitive. So any uppercase or spaces will need to be copied. I'm also going to add a wait time for the patrol. like this. Let's assign these real quick. Um, like this. All right, next let's make a series of actions. Once again, we'll use a bool to see if an, if an order is given. Like this. Um, we're going to wait and then tell the agent to uh, to jump. And oh, by the way, I'm using UCC for this uh, tutorial, but BD alone or with any other assets can follow the same logic I'm showing here. We'll wait again. Um, oops. Uh, where is it? Jump like that. Then he will crouch like this, then wait again. Oops. And then get up. There, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actions. And all of this is going to be contained in a single node. 
So let's create some variables again. I think that's all we need. Like this. Um, and finally, let's take a look at the top tree. We're going to use a selector. And this selector is going to select between two behavior tree references. So it's the first um, task you have available here. Like this. This one will be the long sequence. Oh wait, it will go first. And this one will be the patrol, like this. So let's create some variables. As I said, these names will be case sensitive. So, um, Right. And I'm just going to uh, go back to this tree real quick and uh, wait. And make an abort type. All right. And we're going to drag this main tree in here. I'll take restart when complete. I'm going to set both of these to true. Let's uh, drag in the waypoints. And now finally, let's take a look at it. And there he jumps, he crouches, and he gets up. And he's going to, uh, to do so repeatedly. So let's take a look at the behavior designer here. As you can see, the behavior tree references have become entire trees, or rather entire branches. And I should have said that earlier, but you'll have to think about uh, leaving some space between the references. Uh, because, as you can see, the entire branches are going to uh, to be displayed. So you have to, uh, to leave some space uh, beforehand. And um, they really are intact. So you can see the sequence um, that takes priority here, that still has the abort type. So, for example, I can just uh, do that. And... Um, now he has switched to the other branch, as expected. So really, uh, these references do not affect the contents of um, uh, do not affect their own contents in any way. Uh, next, as you can see, um, this value here which was given to the top tree, is then used uh, by the patrol tree. There it is. And if we select this task here, and click on this icon, it says waypoint pause duration 1.16, which is exactly what we need. So, um, uh, the patrols um, 
pause value was correctly updated. So that's awesome. We're going to see uh, one more thing actually. All right, so first let's make some space. All right. Uh, wait a minute. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use this variables fold out here. So normally the patrol um, task is going to use this patrol wait time value. But we're going to do something different. We're going to use the uh, wait time value, which is normally used by the other branch. So, um... oh wait, sorry, <laughs> it's, a, it's a float, of course. Now we can use um, wait time. Once again, this is case sensitive. You have to use the exact uh, the exact name. Control wait time. We're going to deactivate this. And look at that. He is now stopping for two seconds. Once again, we can go to Behavior Designer and inspect this value, which is now of two. That's awesome. We're going to do one last thing, which I personally dislike, but I still have to show it for the sake of this tutorial. Let's uh, delete uh, this branch here. And we're going to uh, set this size here to 2 and drag in this patrol tree. And, oops, sorry, nothing else. So now let's take a look. And uh, you can see that uh, both trees have spawned um, onto one another, like this. So that's why uh, I don't like it, and I do not recommend using this method. Uh, it makes the whole thing unreadable. So, um, and besides, for clarity's sake, you um, you really should use um, one behavior to reference for just one tree. I'll come back to that later on. But anyway, it still works correctly. And I can do that if I want. All right, all right. So let's come back to our tree. And as I suggested, let's make two of these and only use a single tree by reference. And what I strongly suggest you do, and um, it's also what the um, Deathmatch AI kit does, um, if you don't have already, I suggest buying it. It's, um, it has some bugs, a lot of them, which I have reported and still need some fixes, but it's still an amazing example and its main tree is, is um, it was really great and makes good use of references. And so what it does uh, is very simple. Um, it uses comments. So for example, you can just write, uh, oops. Just write in a few words what uh, each reference does. So this may sound obvious, of course, but this helps enormously. And so, for example, here's what I'm doing in my current game. Like in the Deathmatch AI kit, I'm making use of references and comments to clearly separate and visualize my fundamental tasks. And what's really neat about this branch too 
is that I can easily uh, change the order of priority. So for example, this avoid grenade task here, which is a fundamental priority, I mean, it's a matter of survival. Uh, if I want to, I can just take it and drag it at the end of the tree. So uh, this would make the enemies suicidal and it would make no sense. But if I want to, I can do it. All it takes is a single click. So with that, um, I hope you can see the, the full potential behind these behavior tree references. Uh, this was a tutorial, of course, and you'll have to experiment by yourself. But I'm sure you'll make the most of it. All right, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this useful, please consider donating to my coffee page. And if you, uh, if you think I made any mistake or forgot something important, please let me know. It's very important. Uh, with all that said, I wish you the best of luck and have a good day or good night. Bye.